Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft single player Let's Play. Okay, I got some explaining to do. I recorded a whole freaking, like, 21 video of me building this rabbit cooker because I was building a rabbit cooker. So, yeah, this, that got me really, really mad my laptop was being stupid, of course. But, yeah, this is the, uh, rabbit cooker I've created. I put rabbits in here already, but I was being w dumb and broke that fence post right there so they all fell through and I got s some of them got out and I had to kill them but luckily I have a lot a lot like a when I mean a lot I have like a lot I mean a, when I mean a lot I really mean a lot I have a lot of rabbits in that little pit still and um I gotta bring <clears throat> them back up here for the r chicken cooker or for the rabbit cooker so what the rabbit cooker basically is, it's like obviously a cooker, so it cooks the, uh, so if I want to kill them, since I already have one in here, so if I wanted to cook one and get, like, food, like cooked rabbit from it, I press this button right here, and if I want to crush it, which basically means, like, suffocating it by pushing a block into it, it'll keep it alive, it, it'll keep it alive to, like, uh, where I punch it one time and it dies in instantly. So if I suffocate it, that means I suffocate it so I can get the lucky rabbit's foot, so I can make the 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 leaping potion, so I can jump higher. So which is good for brewing, which I don't have a brewing stand yet, which really annoys me kind of. But but I can also use this obviously for the to get cooked rabbit. So I'm gonna get some cooked rabbit right now. And I didn't get anything from it. <laughs> Great. Wait, let me see if something did something not work. Okay, I, I just think that maybe that I, I'm guessing that rabbit was just bugged, so I'm not really worried about it. So, okay, let's. So right now I'm currently making a little uh like a walkway staircase so I can get the uh, rabbits into the uh, pit or yeah into the rabbit cooker, not a pit, it's a rabbit cooker, in the rabbit cooker so I can breed them and stuff. So let's just do that, and then after that. Oh, I messed up again. Dang it. Okay, let's do this. Um, but yeah, I'm just really, really mad that uh, that video I had to do was gone because my computer was like fro froze. So I had to shut force quit my computer, which got me really upset, which gets me really annoyed. So yeah, that was a pretty decent episode too because I had to build it. Well, I built all of it off camera as usual, as usual because. I quite think it's I I think of it difficult to record and build redstone at the same time difficult for me because I need to look back at my world and see how I did it. So I, yeah, I went back to one of my worlds. I had to make a backup since I in the I'm in the one point nine snapshot. Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm also in a different version of the I'm in a more updated snapshot. So now I am in Minecraft 15w 38b, and in this snapshot. <laughs> they added technically a new mob, but it's like not a new mob because it's already in the game. It's, a, it's basically a skeleton. So remember a, a while ago how they added the uh, skeleton horse in the game, but you couldn't get it at all in survival or anything like that? But now they spawn naturally. They spawn uh, during thunderstorms. I don't know if it depends if it has to be night or daytime. But uh, during a thunderstorm, when lightning strikes... The lightnings, when the lightning strikes the ground, it spawns four mounted skeletons on skeleton horses. And the skeleton, skeletons on the horse spawn with uh, iron helmets with enchant with an enchanting with enchants uh, protection one and a bow with power one. So they're pretty beefed up, and they look pretty cool too. Sorry, I can't show you them though, but yeah that's that's one thing that's new and there's also some stuff about like uh full blocks with like mob farms not working which is really bad and also see i told you i still have a lot i got a lot of rabbit stone that shit looks really cool like that so yeah i got a lot of rabbits luckily i didn't bring them all over here because i in case something like this happened i wouldn't have to worry so let's get some of these ra some of them might escape which is gonna probably annoy me okay never mind none of them did escape Let's get all my rabbits out here. Oh, there's so many of them. Let's get that block right there, so. No, don't you go back in there. Don't go back in the hole. Don't go back in the hole. Oh my gosh, that scared me. So yeah, let's get these guys over here. 
So another thing is that uh, since some of the redstone can track like farm stuff are broken, the uh, I current way that people use or the the item elevator where items uh, travel through through block blocks like go inside of the glass blocks, they don't work anymore. So I'm kind of worried about that because my by my my single player that I play by myself with, I have a, quite a few of item elevators. Can these guys get through here? Okay, good, they can because they're tiny. I guess that's why. I'm going to go down this way because I don't want them falling in the hole and getting taking damage. So let's go this way. So yeah, I'm really worried about them uh, worrying about the uh, item elevators not be working anymore. So now the people are going to have to come up with new ways to uh, make item elevators again, which is kind of sad. And plus, I don't want to have to fix in all my item elevators and stuff. Which is not doesn't sound a lot really that fun. So let's go in here. I'm gonna have to take off this this uh, fence blocks or fen fence so I can get the rabbits in. So I'm gonna do this. Oh God! Don't get it. No. Okay, now I gotta get back down down here now. Stupid rabbit. Okay, he's down in here. Let's get in here. Oh my gosh, this is really frustrating. Okay, I'm just gonna use a. Oh my gosh, look at these fierceless jumpers. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to use a shovel. Let's use a shovel this time. Okay, good. Oh, thank you. Okay, I thought I was gonna kill. They're all gonna die again. Okay, okay, guys, get in there. Come on. Let's have it. Let's get some carrots out and tempt them with some carrots. You want some carrots? You want my carrots, little bunnies? Come on, take my carrot. Uh oh, it's night time too, and this is when the baddies come out. And oh god, did a guy die? You're kidding me. Okay, let's get this guy in there. Ooh, there we go. Get that guy off. Get that guy. Can I please get? Can you please let go? I want to get. Oh, like make some love too. Then I guess. Okay. Oh my gosh, where are you? Okay, thank you. Okay, now they're all loose and now I can take down this stairwell. I actually want to do a little more combat. <laughs> so let's put my shield, my crusader's shield. Sorry about the interruption, guys, but yeah, like I said, let's do some more combat. But I want to use the, my beautiful sword, but I'm kind of nervous too. And I've also decided of where I want to put... Uh, I decided I'm going to be using the new path blocks to make the pathway uh, for the uh, the barn. So actually, this episode, we can do some uh, path planning and do some path work. I think I want to use the path uh, the path block for like this area where I make like... Oh, that was... I did not mean to do that. Whoops. But like I want to make like the loop-de-loop -loop around the, uh, the, uh, the T-Rex statue, the Etho statue right here. So maybe something like this, maybe. I don't know if I want to make the path, like, be connected to the, uh, Etho statue, to the Ethosaurus. But, because I, I, I kind of want, like, a little bit of grass surrounding it still, around the Etho statue. The Etho Rex. I'm going to call it the Etho Rex, because I like that. Sounds cool. In honor of Etho. So, yeah, let's do that. Okay, it's getting dark here. I don't want it to be completely dark here. Jeez. So, let's do this. Okay. Okay. Let's just do. Let's do the rest of this in the, in the morning because I got some s some evil baddies right here, like right here. Oh yeah, a skeleton right here, minding his own business before I interfere with them. Oh yeah. Oh, gosh dang it! I keep forgetting they don't take any damage when I do it like that. It's so annoying when I just spam click. Like every time I like fight a mob, I just feel like spam clicking. Oh. Oh yeah, and there's a new behavior with uh, skeletons too in this update. See, look when I'm coming near him, he he's walking backwards. He's walking away from me. And then the current version 1.8, they don't walk away from you. They just like, they just stay in one place, and they just let you they just let you run up to them and kill them. Now they actually walk back, which they're they're getting a little smarter. Let's see if I can kill him with his arrow. Oh yeah, I killed him with his with his own arrow. That was so cool. <laughs> so yeah, that's also actually that's actually a thing I forgot to mention. 
Sorry about the food, food being a lot, so I wanted to turn up the volume pretty uh, really up so you can hear everything. But yeah, that's actually one thing I forgot to mention for the uh, in the last video that I did that I re recorded. So actually glad I that got erased because I'm actually liking the way this is turning out more. Let's fight. Oh, let's fight. Fight me. Come on. Oh gosh, I'm not speaking. I'm just trying to focus here and come up with like, a cool strategy for combat. So I think the best strategy for now, like, like currently in Minecraft, is just to swing, a swing, block, and swing. I think I feel like that. I've been trying that, doing that a lot lately, and I feel like it's been working out a lot, really good. So I think that's like a really, that's a, like the new combat uh, strategy that people would be using is block, swing, block, swing. It actually works pretty well, so that's pretty neat. So now let's take down the stairway that we made here. Oh, um, before I do that, just so I don't fall, <laughs> we'll put a bit of a fence post right there so I don't get stuck in there because that's not going to end up well. Turn down the volume just a bit. Sorry about that. I got something on my fingers. So yeah, let's take down this thing. In this episode, I think we're, we can do some work on the pathways, and I actually wanted to explore and uh, or look at the uh, go into the swamp and uh, see if I can find a witch hut so I can make a witch farm near home or for in home terrain. Hopefully, I can. I don't know. I keep forgetting. Or well, I just want to check if there is a witch farm so I can make it near home somewhere. Cause I do not want to walk like super for like a thousand like or a thousand blocks or way or even more and i don't believe the uh, uh is, did, I, did my 12 blocks get interfered yes they did i have to have 12 blocks near so like the uh pulse will uh i have enough like uh get the night right um, amount of pulse for the uh crusher to, to suffocate the rabbits so i can't get any oh i got more blocks in there great hey, you know what these blocks need to stop annoying me and get alive. Okay, there we go. There we go. And I also actually had to extend the barn by one block because of the uh, back here for the rabbit cooker is a bit long. But man, this thing's pretty good. I already got some rabbits in there. That's pretty sweet. One thing that I really want to find in Minecraft, but it's extremely hard to find, is the uh, the Monty Python rabbit, like the white rabbit that attacks you from Monty Python. That'd be really really cool to find, but I have not. Found that I don't think I I bet there are people that found one naturally, but they're pretty rare. But I still really want to find one. I've like been dying to find one. So yeah, this episode <laughs> I want to do some next exploring. But before we do that, I want to put away some of my junk here because I got a lot of junk like this. And this stuff's not really junk though. These are nice redstone stuff that I like. Oh yeah. And just remember, last something else I was talking about that the other episode that I attempted to do is that the new one second, take a sip of water. My throat's a little sore too. That that kind of sucks. But yeah, the new Minecraft story mode game. I'm actually kind of excited for the game myself, but I, I feel like there's not a lot of people really excited for it. Whoops, I accidentally took that out. But I'm actually pretty excited for that myself, but I don't feel like there's a lot of people out there that are actually really excited for it. I'm kind of excited for it. And I don't, I'm not sure if I want to... Uh, I don't know if I should... Because I really want to record it and put it on YouTube for another series, for another... Um, a series to watch, and plus it's Minecraft too, so it's like win-win for me. So yeah, I really wanna, uh, where does glass go? Is there glass in this chest or something, or am I just like going crazy right now? Okay, I guess I didn't have any glass with me, because it's all gone. That was, that was just, that was pretty strange. Okay, I think they're all disappearing. I'm not going to put anything in this chest. Because I think it's like a haunted chest now or something. So yeah, let's carry on with our journey here. So yeah, I'm not sure. Because the game comes out for consoles and computer. Like PC and Mac. And I'm really having a tough decision of... of 
to I've what to get it for. So I want to make a series on it for YouTube, but I actually I also really want to get it for my. I have a PlayStation 4. If you're wondering, I have an Xbox 360 and a PlayStation 4. I'm more of a a PlayStation guy because I I played the old Star Wars Battlefront a lot, and I have that for the PlayStation 2. And I'm so used to using PlayStation that I got. I ended up getting the PlayStation, but the funny thing is, I was originally gonna be I was originally planning to get the uh, PlayStation 4 or no the the Xbox One for Star Wars Battlefront. And at the last second at the store, I decided to. To get a PlayStation 4, because I'm like, you know what? If I want to get Battlefront, I want to get it on a console that <coughs> uh, I'm really familiar with, because I feel like it's it's difficult for me to control and use the controls for the Xbox. I don't really like Xbox that much, really. So yeah, I decided to get the X uh, PlayStation because I've been playing the old Battlefront a lot for. Uh, the PlayStation 2, so I want to get a console that I'm really, uh, gosh, uh, why, why am I, like, losing of, uh, th of, losing words of how to say this? I'm really used to, used to, uh, using the, uh, PlayStation, so I'm getting, I have a PlayStation, and as I was talking about originally, the, uh, mine Minecraft story mode comes out for all uh, consoles and stuff, so I'm really having a difficult time here of what to uh what to get it for i don't know if i want to get it for the computer so i can record it with you guys and show it what's over here is that a dead that's a dead end so let's let's turn over here and see let's see what's over here okay this is dangerous oh, okay i'm gonna break the boat probably oh no 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 Okay, okay, the boat's still safe. Okay, come on, come on. There we go. I'm gonna put this leaf pad down too. There we go. So yeah, I'm having a really tough time deciding, but I kind of want to get a, a capture card for the PlayStation so I can record like Battlefront and stuff when it comes out. But those are like a hundred dollars, so those are pretty expensive. I don't know about it. Wow, I've actually never been over here. Oh, this is another borderline. So you can see right here, it's like. Yeah, this is like perfectly cut straight. So let's get it out of here. Do I have an axe with me? I do have my axe. Perfect. No, no, don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Oh, where'd it go? Oh yeah, look at this too. Like when you come, when you go in the water, you can see where the new terrain is. Where the new terrain is. So right now I'm in home terrain. 1.8. Old terrain. 1.8. Old terrain. 1.8. Oh yeah, thinking about it, I wouldn't have gotten uh, a witch hut anyways because my world was uh, loaded up in 1.2. So yeah, there was there's no way I was gonna get one uh, a witch farm because the witch hut or the witch huts, sorry, the witch huts were added in 1.4, which is called the spooky up there. I totally remember when that came out. I was in 7th grade when that was coming out, and I was so excited about it. Okay, so we're... Okay, there's nothing over here, and that's really interesting or new. So let's go... Oh, let's break this tree right here. Let's go over here. That's a new... I have that. I think I have... Yeah, I already have all the two block tall flowers. Wow! Look at this tree! <laughs> wow, I've never seen a tree like that before. That's interesting. I like how it loaded up. So let's go. I want to go a little more exploring now. And just talk. Because I did a bunch of junk, of course, that I got deleted off camera. Oh, what's this area? This is an interesting looking place right here. I really want to find that. There's just two biomes that I really want to find. I really want to find the spiked. I spiked biomes. There's a bunny right here. And there's a gray sheep right here. Oh, wow. There's a lot of bunnies over here. Yeah, so the two, the biomes that I really want to find are the Mesa and the Ice Spike biomes. Because I've never actually ever found those before in Minecraft. And those are like the two uh, biomes that I really want. Mostly Mesa because I want the... Uh, the... Gosh dang it. I want the uh, the clay block, hardened clay blocks so I can use them for like building things. So I don't have to go out and like underwater and collect all the... Uh, the clay, which is not really, it's a hassle to do, really. Well, I'm going to collect some of this mushroom so I can grow, uh, grow some mushrooms like this back at home terrain. So let's collect some real quick. 
and mix up. I'm gonna, actually, yeah, I'm gonna make some farmers with these so I can get a lot of mushrooms. I think that's a good idea. Hopefully, is there the normal mushroom, the uh, brown mushrooms? I want some of those ones. Uh, let's see what else is going on. So yeah, story mode. I talked about that, and oh yeah, let's talk about some more about story mode, uh, Minecraft story mode. So there's uh, there's different characters you can choose. Wow! Look at this tree! I never even harvested this tree before, and look at this. It's like, it's floating without a bottom on it. Wow, i never ever seen a tree like generate like this before. That's really interesting. And I swear to God, I never broke that tree before. Wow, that's really impressive. Jeez, that's the first time I've ever seen something like that before. Ooh, beef. Oh, is my passive mob sound down? So I want to turn that up. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's better. Oh, where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you go. Oh! Oh! There you go. Okay, yeah, it's getting dark. Let's quickly get back to home trim, because... I'm honestly, I'm I'm a lot actually terrified to go out of home to right now since it's, the mobs are so freaking hard now. So yeah, I think it's really difficult. So yeah, so the main character you play as in story Minecraft story mode is you play this character named Jesse, and he's basically like a new he's like a new player. He's like a noob uh, for Minecraft. So you get to learn how to do all the stuff in story mode because he's like basically a noob. And there's other characters like like. Characters are known for like certain things that they do. So there's a crafting guy, th like crafting mean like in sh like uh, crafting table stuff. There is a redstone guy. There is I think I'm in home train right now, right? I don't know. Um, oh boy, I can't tell. Okay, I think this is home train right here. Yeah, I'm in home. This is home train. Okay, I'm good now. So there's a redstone guy, a crafting guy, an explosive. Explosive guy, which is pretty self-explanatory. TNT, fireworks. There is a combat guy. There is a... <laughs> what else is there? Uh, I think there's a brewing... Yeah, there's a brewing guy, I think, too. I think. And I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm back home, too. So let's go this way and go to bed. Yeah, there's the... There's the McNa there's McNasty right there. So let's come over. Let's go... Let's actually take a little boat ride. I want to take a little boat ride. Oh yeah, and there's also one th another thing that's gonna be changed in 1.9. I'm pretty sure is that depending what type of uh, uh, wood you use, that's what the boat will look like. That's the type of uh, what the boat will be made of. So we won't be having the like every time you craft a boat, it won't look like oak anymore. Oh my god, I took, I took another drink. Sorry about that. So yeah, that's something new. Wow, look at that's a huge tree. Oh. Okay, thank gosh, I thought, I thought the boat was going to break there. Okay, let's go over here. There's the memorial for the veterans. I think we shall get off right here and see how the... Uh, oh, stupid squids, you broke my boat. You potatoes, schmuck you. Wow, it took like three hits to kill a... Did that literally take three hits to kill a... A, uh... Squid? Wow. Oh, yeah, and I've also decided that I want to lock my game on a, on a, on a mode. So this is going to be a pretty big moment. Currently, I am playing on normal mode, but I want to play permanently on hard mode. So this is what I'm going to do, guys. Look, I'm going to lock it up. This world will soon in a few seconds be permanently on a hard mode i'm gonna regret it but i want to make it so it gets more interesting because since the new also since the new combat's changed so this is actually going to be pretty interesting to do and i actually actually locked up my other single player world on hard or hard mode on diff hard twos and locked it up so i'm gonna do it here we go one two three World lock, world lock, world difficulty. Are you sure you want to lock the difficulty of this world? This will set this world to always be hard, and you'll never be able to change that again. Here I go, guys. Hard mode forever. This is gonna be really interesting. <laughs> 
Before I die, though, let's take a quick nap. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm in hard mode forever, and this is going to be really interesting, especially since the new combat's out. Okay, you guys are still babies, and, and the rabbits are still up there. Oh, I actually need to set up a, a ladder system to get up there, but let's not do that right now. I think I want to do a little bit on camera of the new pathway. Of the, or the pathway around here, so let's quickly do that. I don't know how many blocks I want this to wide to be, but I think I'm going to make this pretty wide. But let's let's de equip my Crusader shield right now, because it's getting kind of annoying in the way. Oh, I feel so much better like this. Oh my gosh. Let's do this like this. Ooh. And the thing is, if I don't like it, I can just uh, dig up the blocks. It's fine. Yeah, I, I like that. I like the grass being around there, around the the ethorex like that so that's good okay let's do some more of this right here yeah but this episode's been pretty productive because i got that i've been wanting to make the rabbit cooker for a while now and I'm, I'm actually really happy that's done so now i don't have to think about that anymore oh oh thank goodness because I, I did not because the you can't till I, i've already told you this but uh you can't till uh, you can't make path blocks when there's like a normal dirt block, which is really annoying. So if you accidentally break a dirt block, you have to wait until it regrows to grass, which can be really irritating, in my opinion. So let's do this, 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 this. Let's break this. There you go. That looks that looks nice. Yeah, I like that. And I can't... I, okay, I keep forgetting. I don't know exactly how you can chill, t tell or check of how much... Uh, durability you have left on a on a uh, tool or anything, which I for, I don't know. Why I keep forgetting to do that. Do I would shift. I gotta I gotta look that up. So yeah, I cannot. I do not want to use this up. How is this doing? When on body, when on head. Wow, a chest piece is six plus armor two, five two. So helmet and boots have the exact same amount of armor that they give you. That's interesting to know. Oh, thank God this is a silk touch. Uh, so yeah, here's the thing: if you want to make path blocks, make sure you use a shovel that has silk touch on it, cause in case if you accidentally bre break a a grass block, it doesn't. Uh, you don't have. To, it doesn't turn into a dirt block, so you don't have to deal with like having to wait a while for it to grow back. That's a little nice little tip for you right there. So yeah, I think we're almost near the end of the episode because I've been, I already, I've recorded, this is my second time recording the video after the first one being deleted, of course. I think this is a little too wide. So I'm going to make this four blocks wide. So one, two, three, four. Let's pick up this four. Actually, three blocks. I like, I don't know. I like to, I like to use, I like to work with odd numbers. I just feel like it works better. So let's do this. There we go. In this right here. Oh, anyway, this block. Give me this block. There we go. So yeah, that's pretty nice looking. I like that. You know, it does. It has to be four blocks when I can't till it. Uh, wow, that was actually pretty quick. Wow. So I guess yeah, that, that's actually pretty nice looking. Yeah, I'll do with. I'll go with that. So yeah, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next time. On my single player world. Oh, I'm gonna use my shield. <laughs> See you later, alligators.